I mean, we, we can get a steam turkey fryer. Maybe we can get like steam kitchen appliances. Oh man, a steam <laughs> ethernet The table. steam spatula. Ooh. Sta- stainless, stainless steel <laughs> steam fridge. The I'd be down. Hey everyone, welcome back to Linux Game Cast Weekly. The show covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how to and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. Um, gentlemen. I'm Ben, it says down there. That's Jordan. It says that not just a man, a country, and also a river. Jordan's fine. Yes. And Pedro, there's still snow on the ground, Mateus. Yes. <laughs> Since Monday. <laughs> well, it's mostly ice now, but it, it, it's still there. And you, lovely, lovely Linux loving miscreants, watching this live, helping us form Cocaine Voltron. Now, gentlemen, I got to play The Witcher. I've been looking forward to The Witcher announcement. Uh, I was looking forward to when they made the announcement. They're like, hey, it's going to come out uh, like in two days. And I'm like, oh, that's awesome. And then CD Projekt Red came out and said, by that, we meant like eight months from now. Like, oh, fine. So I put off playing The Witcher 3. Put off and, and, and I'm sitting around and it finally came out. I downloaded it. And, uh, you know, I'm still bitter because if we all remember, when we had that first uh, Steam Machine launch, The Witcher 3 showed up there, and it just casually disappeared with a lot of other games. Fair enough. But I wanted to see what that UHD bit was like. I wanted to see, and, you know, admittedly, Valve did an update. The X12 got it running in UHD. I'm at 3060, and it's doing like 60, 70, somewhere there, and everything on high to medium. I was pleased with it right until I went to fight somebody, and it was crushing it's a painful reminder just how bad the atrocious that combat is. So I uninstalled it. That's my story, guys. <laughs> That's where I'm at. How about you, Jordan? Uh, I, I didn't have any uh, failures of cav- cavalistic proportions. I just uh, upgraded my box to did Fedora 37. from the Superman? No, I didn't. No. I didn't. <laughs> Batman did give me my pink slip, though, so I'm looking for work. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. You're fired. No, uh, <laughs> yeah, I, fi- I finally... Uh, I- Cleared off some time. I installed uh, Fedora 37 on this box. I had to like do a full clean install. It's it's the end of an era because like I had that same install since like Fedora 27. So like 10 Fedora versions. You wiped that constantly. Drive finally, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but like you know, five five years for a Linux install, especially a Fedora install, is pretty good, honestly. Like it, I, I I had to I had to shed a tear. I had to take a moment of respect, a moment of silence. But it's done. I dejected it. Everything seems to be working. So you I, 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 yeah, or no, I didn't deject it. Did, I depipewired it, depipewired it, rejacked it. That still all works, which is really great. That like Fedora is still supporting pipewire, or uh, God damn it, I keep fucking it up. Pulse Audio, despite the fact that they're on, uh, they're 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 pushing the pipewire. Like it still it still all works. No no real issues. Um, yeah, and I'm I'm just you know continuing to spit in Pedro's face by using GNOME. I I, I was reading. Um, if you are in our Discord, if you're a Twitch sub yeah. or patron, um. You can't scroll up and read. I guess you could. You'd be, you'd be violating one of our sacred laws. But oh, oh yes, the most sacred. What was it yesterday? That, yeah, yeah, yes, y- yes yesterday. <laughs> I start seeing. You know, Jordan's like, "Hey, man, I'm going to try Nomad. Does anybody get any like uh, cool extensions? Yeah, 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 right." And then that started. <laughs> <laughs> the holy war <laughs> fucking mega death starts playing in the background <laughs> like, Pedro just emerges from his cage yeah, yeah. Was like oh let's have that repeat from like slash dot in 2001 when somebody yeah. brought up either kde or gnome and it's like oh here it goes <laughs> <laughs> yep but uh no uh so so far so good uh i'm pretty happy with it uh, I'm. It's gonna take me like four weeks or like probably six months to get the requisition part down, where I say my fucking mm. uh, new new setup because I'm like ah Fedora thirty five no seven it's <laughs> ah, <laughs> and then and then I'm gonna change I'm gonna upgrade my video card next year man I'm just I'm just fucked changes how about you Pedro Mateus. I have been uh, yeah uh, other than the arguing. <laughs> Uh, last night, for the sake of argument, because uh, contrary to what everyone seems to believe, I did not expect to change anyone's mind. I was just there for the I, sake I, of I, I the gave argument. You, I gave you a time limit. You did not beat Shamal. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I was also waiting for the video for the chairs to render out at, at the same time. So, yeah, the uh, actually, uh, the weed person <laughs> arrived before the video was done processing. Yeah. So there's that. Because he's uh, a G. Yeah, no, it's just... Um, 
busy at work f- throughout most of the week. It, it, it's nice to. I'm looking forward to next weekend because it's uh, it's got two uh, holidays, so that's four day weekend. It's nice. Looking forward to it. Something something okay. horse Jordan. Yeah, I guess you know. Sorry, the horse is on holiday, man. He, he booked like two weeks ago. Didn't didn't you get didn't you get the thing via the HR software? It's the Steam. I did not get the memo. Apparently not. But believe it or not, lo and behold, the Verge has done something borderline useful. No, 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 they haven't taught you how to build a PC with zip ties, right? Um, <laughs> tweezers. <laughs> tweezers. <laughs> they had a nice little back and forth with a uh, homie. Y- Yang, Yang and uh, yeah. Pierre Loop Guru. Pierre and yep. Yang. That was pretty neat, man. Uh, Grivas. I mean, and Pierre, it was, it was like, hey, man, Valve's already testing uh, additional concepts, which this is what got my attention here. Like, what about Steam Deck 2? And he's like, yeah, we're looking at stuff. And I, I immediately read into that. And he's like, we, we might do some other living room accessories outside of the Steam Deck. I'm like, where's my Steam Cube? And I want that possibly, you know, maybe a Steam foldable table tray. That'd be kind of dope. I want um, a Steam folding chair. Yeah, or Steam Lazy Boy. Yeah. I'd yeah, also yeah, be yeah. down with that. And, <laughs> or, uh, or like, or, I mean, we, we can get a steam turkey fryer. Maybe we can get like steam kitchen appliances. Oh man, a steam <laughs> Ethernet. The cable. steam spatula. Sta- stainless, stainless steel steam fridge. The I'd be down. Uh, oh, if, I, if I could play games on my fridge. Oh God. They do go <laughs> back and talk uh, about some updates to the Steam Deck, which there have been updates to the Steam Deck, especially since if you got one after October, because uh, like one of the big complaints was the battery. I'm like, man, that sucker's really grewed it grewed in there yes glued in there and they're like yeah that's uh on purpose you don't want that bouncing around it's a horrible experience but they've changed the geometry of the adhesive mm-hmm. so it should be easier to rip out and you know the fan issue that some people were having it doesn't matter if you had like a delta fan or a not the delta fan they put a piece of foam in steam decks now that are shipping out just to shut them the fuck up just a little bit yeah, and you can you can uh, get the new fans as well if you want to replace them if right. uh, yep. your ears are getting assaulted by the, the, the whine of the fan. I thought that was pretty dope. Uh, they did bring up that they're still working on SteamOS 3. They want to make it available to manufacturers and all that. You know, they want more people to play along, to which I'll go, man, we've been waiting on that for well over six months since the last time you mentioned SteamOS 3. I'd like to get it because I'd like to put it on stuff. On top of that, uh, they are working on getting support for your Bluetooth microphones on your Steam Deck. Some people want that. That's uh, cool. He- he- headsets. They said they said microphones might be coming. That's still in progress. Right. On uh, Yang and Rivas said it, it, they will still be. Oh, they're still actively working to get EAC support for Halo: The Master Chief Collection and Fall Guys up and running on the deck. And you'll never guess what that roadblock is. Uh, <laughs> Sweeney. <coughs> Uh, not on my deck. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it, I, I mean, like it, it, it seems like valve is, um, they, they, they've definitely, uh, considered the feedback and they're, they're very, they're very much open to, uh, improving what they have already. Um, don't the care. One, the only one, want one thing. The, the steam <laughs> controller too. Yeah. I, I want to see what that looks like. I, I'm not yep. promising that I'll buy one, but I want to see what it looks listen, like. Listen, it, 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 need, it, it needs to have a scroll wheel that will help you with aiming. That's, no, that's some spoilers. <laughs> RGB valve. Just put some RGB on it. Nobody will notice. But uh, the, the one thing, uh, the one thing there, apparently they're working on their own version of Pavu control, which I thought, uh, I mean, Pavu control already exists, but if they have something like really tightly integrated into like steam overlay, that would be really convenient to be like, okay, have all like the, have like the speech, uh, speech volume, like sound effects volumes, just like ready to go and adjustable via the overlay. You can like bring in your own musical mix. I don't know. seems like it could be neat and you could definitely do some cool stuff with pipe wire there. Yeah, um, and they're already using KDE for the desktop version. So if they have a look at what the phonon um, plasmoid, I guess they're, they're still called that, the little thing for the system tray, it does the breakdown of per stream, per application, per device. So you could have all of those in one of the pop out overlays. It yeah. should work. I, 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 <laughs> I, I, do, I do like what they were saying about the, uh, or what I found it was interesting what they were saying about like the other, like the Aya Neo and all these other guys. Cause like the, uh, the Aerith SOC is apparently like the special sauce that makes the steam deck, the steam deck. Right. In in so far mm-hmm. as like, it, it really does hit that sweet spot of like power performance where like a more general, like laptop part will, won't, won't do that. So mm-hmm. 
But like, I, I and I and I also I also want to see like between between like Google trying to push Chrome OS for gaming and Valve trying to push Steam OS for gaming. I, again, I, I I'm the the future where you like Windows isn't the only PC gaming operating system is so close. We're so close, you guys. I can <laughs> don't say it like that. You say it like there's room for error. Like no, we got uh, it this time. It's all good. Hundred percent. Oh no no, it's hundred percent gonna happen. Year of the Linux desktop twenty twenty three. You guys that's, that's calling it now. Quote, quote um, it. Put it on my tombstone. Pedro. I guess they still need to finish the uh, um, new big picture mode for the desktop. That, that it's still, that it's still, to be it's still way chuggy on, mm. on the video yeah. end. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's still kind of poopy. I could see that. Pedro, you have the Steam Deck. So uh, they did address like, hey, what's going to be coming up in Steam Deck 2? And uh, both of uh, Ying and uh, Pierre were like, yeah, you know what? Like, not necessarily, maybe not focusing on more powerful, but maybe better yeah. battery life. What would you like to see outside of like an OLED screen? The, the the big one was always going to be the screen. Yes, having a proper OLED screen means that there's less battery consumptions because all of the black pixels will actually be, you know, off, not pulling power. And um, yeah, a nicer uh, battery, uh, slightly bigger. That That would be very, very nice. Maybe a mounting system that doesn't require stupid amounts of glue <laughs> all right yeah, no that'd be good so basically an ethernet jack and you already have the type c and, and it is a fully compliant type c port so just pull up the dongle no no, no i want token ring <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I would like I, I don't know like some kind of either like contact charging solution or like better badge, battery like modularity so like you can like slap a like a larger battery pack on the back of it mm. and like add, add some weight like I, I, I don't know there's there's like there's all sorts of little design things that you could mm -hmm. do to like improve it as just a handheld be, beyond just like hey let's give it a beefier gpu or cpu or more ram a built-in right? kickstand so, on the back also wouldn't go amiss because that is the most popular accessory mostly because they're like two dollars on ebay i mean you, you, get you the can just use your ones and just you just got to use the spare the, kickstand from your nvidia 4090 yeah <laughs> i suppose yes <laughs> If you can afford a 4090, that is better support for your eGPU because that's I don't know, man. Oh, know. like oh man, if if they could come up with like I, I mean, it's it's not going to be Valve doing it. It's going to be like it, AMD has some like hot plug PCI shit that they've up released or whatever. But yeah, some like external GPU stuff, like make, making it more of like a modular PC experience. That would that would be. I cool. mean, it is again, it's a fully compliant Type C port at the top. You can do external GPUs through it, or you can yeah. use the M.2 slot. Well, with the size yeah. of the current GPUs we're seeing from AMD, they could just have like a mounting bracket for the GPU. So you can just get a standalone um, Pisa <laughs> Express box yeah. and click in your Steam Deck and you got a full PC. Yeah, yeah exactly. exactly. And you're playing your Steam Deck with a it, massive it, it, GPU. I don't yeah. know, do, 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 you remember, from your do you face. remember that Razer laptop? <laughs> that had the GPU dock that like flat sat on the bottom. So it's like yes. a laptop with the giant, giant cube on its ass. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I want that, but for Steam Deck. Like. <laughs> Let's go all out. So it might seem like we just got done with a Steam cell because we did. But yeah. good news, everybody. This is the season for more sale. Yes, <laughs> I know. Celebrate and rejoice because on December 22nd at 10 p.m., you too will be able to pick up it takes two yet again for fifteen ninety nine. The only sale price EA knows how to put that damn game on. So uh, holiday magic in the air. But we all bought some shit last time, a couple of weeks yeah. ago, right? I, I think that I think the main difference between this upcoming sale and the last one is it's a new pay period. So you have money in your bank account this oh, time. Oh, okay. That's, that's, that's not on the twenty second. At least not me. <laughs> Blade Point looks kind of interesting. New World. Uh... Uh, they're just showing some stuff. Yeah, again. Just stuff stuff that will be on sale. I don't. I don't know. Like, uh, yeah. Keep keep an eye on the wish list. Um, maybe maybe yeah. something will go like stupid cheap, or, or they'll have like, hey, this game is free. Uh, because it, it they've been known to happen. Like our, a while ago, they gave back they gave away like Injustice Two on Steam, right? Like it's got to be a big game yeah. because you know every now and then. I mean, actually, when you go to the Steam store, there's like the specials or just free games and stuff like that. But typically, the free games. You're like, yeah, of course that's a free game. Um, but yeah, if they, if they drop something like kind of big, that'd be interesting. Yeah, yeah, I, I want to play. Uh, we mentioned in the pre pre super show, uh, the um, not Rick and Morty high on life game. Mm. 
I, I, I want that to go on sale, but it just came out, so it probably won't, and I won't pay £45 for it, because it doesn't have a Linux version. If it did, I probably would. Yeah, that's where I'm with where the Valkyrie game. Like, it's half off right now, but it's a Squeenix game that, you know, the new price of games is like 80 or 90 bucks with them, so it's still like 50 bucks. <laughs> I'm like, get wrecked. That's not going to happen. We can wait you out. VKD3D Proton. This did something that I'll tell you about uh, in just a sec. Yes, it's uh, the new version of VKD3D as forked over from the official wine distribution channel. Let's call it that, Wine HQ. Uh, and brought into Proton. This is what you use to play your uh, DX12 games with the Vulcans. And the big one here is uh, the ability to set the frame pacing. You can set, uh, thanks to VKKHR present weight, you can effectively set just how many frames you can get per second you can set how many times you can set the frame pacing just okay this all frames will be on screen for this amount of milliseconds which also affects your input latency so that that's a game changer for people even if you only have like a 60 hertz monitor or you're on the steam deck um it is uh it is very very nice to have because it creates it doesn't necessarily make the game smoother, but it makes makes it so your brain can always predict what how long an input will take because it will always be the same, even if it is the full sixteen milliseconds just for the frame to render on screen plus however many more milliseconds it takes from the actual input. It's always going to be reliable. That's very nice. I like okay, it. <laughs> you you buried the lead. You buried the lead with this, man, because the thing that blew me away with this, it got me excited because, you know, we, Jordan and myself run um, NVIDIA Team Green, you know, and not those dirty red hippie open source AMD cards <laughs> like you do. Um, 6700 XT and the Steam Deck, yes. Isn't that right, Linus? <laughs> um, so, uh, no, the uh, VK EXT descriptor buffer extension is uh, in the Linux beta driver. So I went ahead and rolled that back. And what that did, it took a, a ton of um, compute away from being done on the CPU. It just smoothed out and they refactored the entire chain, which basically boils down to I can swing around in Spider Man now after however many months that game's been out over 40 FPS on a 3060. They, they, they also have a fix in here for uh, Guardians of the Galaxy as well for uh, uh, rewritten host image support. The other the other neat thing um, about uh, well, I fucking wrote this shit down. Um, yeah, the other neat thing about this release is the um, is the arc bugs are getting identified now. Um, we're, we're, we're starting to see some fixes for uh, for Intel Arc. Uh, but bad news, if you got a GPU with less than four gigs of RAM, even if you have it enabled in the BIOS, no resizable bar for you. Yeah. Appar apparently it's e <laughs> it's worse performing if you have under four gigs of ram so don't it does bkd 3d won't even try this is um it's already in proton experimental play around with it um i put the nvidia beta drivers in it i want to go back and test out a bunch of games because we we've all run into these games and you know a lot of it i'll immediately throw under uh, i'll throw this gen one thread rubber under the bus because this thing was not great for games when it was brand new and it's long long in the tooth these days but there's times when you're seeing like in the spider-man game like 40 fps like what and you look at your cpu usage through um mango odd and it's like 12 like mm -hmm. something's wrong here um <laughs> i'm using a whole of two cores fuck you <laughs> <laughs> so uh it was good to see that jump back up to 50 to 60 to 70 i'm like oh okay that's neat i can finally go back and play the spider-man game when time allows a uh, couple of new games so we got one new game and a game update this week yeah, yeah. Bots are stupid. This is one that Artharon sent and us a bunch of copies of. Us. Yes. Yeah. So I guess we're gonna have to take a look at it. It's platforming, but with pseudo assembly. You don't have to worry about your Twitch reflexes. You just need to give your little man the right instructions, and you will eventually get to the end of the level. Uh, and like, I don't know. Looking at this thing, like, I it seems like uh, it's basically Twitch plays Pokemon the game. But I wonder how literate you can actually get with like the spacing and the timing, so that like these levels don't devolve into trial and error as you like, all right, let's move forward. 0.77, move forward. 0.78, jump 0.72. All right. No, we got to dial it back. I don't, I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's just part of the, uh, the gameplay flow. Maybe um, it helps you learn this that. is like uh baby's first test spot. 
Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Although, uh, program your own platforming mechanics. I'm already kind of done with platformers. The platformers were the game I played when I was very, very young. So, uh, I, I don't know if I'll uh, enjoy this a, one. It's got a level <laughs> editor, though, and they're, uh, they're, 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 very, they're very much pushing, like, the, oh, yeah, infinite replayability. And this is by the, uh, by the Augscast studio. So they yes. they had they had, they had published by that <laughs> or published yeah, but so so I mean I don't, I don't know I I guess we got we have no choice but to check it out now one of our executive producers bought us copies so yep. I mean it will, damn there you, will be chairs thrown at it Arthur and thank you damn you I hate you forever <laughs> but if we do that it's to, to encourage other people to continually send us random games like damn it I, yeah it, oh, it, it Pedro, saves me on having to look for them. <laughs> <laughs> well, you you bring that. Did you did you see the Pretty Princess Horsey game? That I did is, see the Pretty oh, okay. Princess Horsey right. game. <laughs> dude, dude, dude made it for his daughter. Exactly. Like, I'm yeah. like, there's a good angle to play it. I'm like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he made it for his daughter, and he saw three assholes on the internet. It's like, yeah, let's give it to them. Yeah. It's All like, right. let's see how this holds up. And I'm cool. like, this thing, no ray tracing whatsoever. <laughs> um, <laughs> it runs like shit on my Intel Arc GPU. <laughs> oh, man. Another thing we got into a little bit of discussion about in the previous Super Shows and is fighting games. And uh, I think we all three of us agreed, like, we're pretty shit at it. But that doesn't stop us from enjoying them. No. And uh, one of the ones, uh, one of the very few ones that was Linux native. And I very much enjoyed to the point where I went through all the single player campaigns with all the characters uh, was Skullgirls. And they've. Uh, by, by, now, by the way, after- mass.linuxgamecast.com. Uh, no, bring, bring, bring <laughs> uh, that brought up for to no you reason. by the volunteer who brought it to Linux. Uh, yeah, it's um, yeah the second encore after they shook the uh, less than agreeable team member. Let's go with that. Uh, and yeah, they have a new beta for Black Dahlia, the new character. It's the one represented at the top of the page. Uh, there's um, yeah, supposedly the art for Black Dahlia is now final. They've kind of nail that down how they want her to look and they have a honestly painful amount of information for all of the moves and abilities and everything that black dahlia can do i guess (laughs) i was reading through it and i guess that having actual frame counts for each animation for each of the moves was a little too how far did you make it through that because like i tried and my eyes just kind of rolled over into the back of my head i'm like i got to fire shot and it's like okay no that's that's fine next yeah like i'm 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 looking at this like i'm sure this means something to someone but not me yeah uh my biggest question for hidden variable studios is why is your trailer in like 480p at 15 fps per second for a fighting game because it looks more cinematic i don't know <laughs> um might might get somebody to take a look at that so skull girls uh you can get the second encore 24.99 for the complete game it's uh plus 74.95 of dlc holy hell yeah it's um, all the uh extra characters and soundtrack and everything else yeah no, no, nothing nothing you need to actually play the game like no. yeah uh yeah they've added the counter strike tons of other fixes for you fighting game nerds out there i read through that my eyes glossed over and i'm like that's the type of shit people who are into fighting games like get off on i'm like good and it's really good to see updates like this big chunky meaty meaningful updates especially for games like this uh skull girls i went and checked out on the steam charts it's only averaging about 200 players a day but still i mean you know there's that's, that's that's pretty good for like a fighting game right like yeah i don't know so but just to have that community there and yeah. they're very appreciative of stuff like this so, for sure yeah good Indeed. on them i guess that does it coming up next nvidia is gonna try and wow us with their latest budget card offerings ooh, ooh. yeah we're really excited also we have stadia at home the news are coming right up but before we get to that we do need to uh, put a little be reminded stop. that there was a double dragon movie that's yes, the, there was. Yeah, and, and that the red dude is the fucking host of Iron Chef now? Remember that? <laughs> Man, what a world we live in. <laughs> but the, hey, uh, the- this is also the world where a certain Linux gaming podcast has been going on for long enough that we can count the years using two digits. The 80s That's- were terrifying. Mark Mark DeCascos, I think, is the actor's name. I don't know. I, I, I keep thinking that that dude is Vanilla Ice, but he's not. He just looks like him a little bit. 
the the the, the villain he's kicking. They I don't know. Right into Flavor Town. Yeah, I mean, if you if you have Guy Fieri levels of wealth, head on over to patreoncom slash Gamecast and take us on a fucking trip to Flavor Town. Uh, you can you can sign up, get access to our uh, Discord, which you can also get access to by subbing to us on Twitch on twitchtv slash Gamecast. Link your accounts. If, pray, pray to pray to Zeus, pray to Kronos, pray to whatever deities who might be listening, and maybe uh, you'll be able to get into our Discord. If not, wait a day. It'll it'll hopefully it's work. That's pretty easy. Yeah, uh, but you get a, you you can uh, RSVP to game streams. Uh, Ven does Trackmania on Tuesdays and Fridays. I do Borderlands three on Thursdays. So if you want to play along with us, get in our Discord. Tell us that you want to play with us, and we'll make that happen. And stick around uh, for the after shows, man, because we're doing oh, yeah. that live. Uh, we're gonna be playing some more uh, Rawful Soccer. Yeah, <laughs> lo, lo, loco soccer. We gotta thank some uh, people. We gotta thank Johnny, our newest Patreon. We gotta ask him how his sex life is. Hi, Hopefully Johnny. He'll send us some hate mail. Uh, we got uh, we got uh, stores as well. Store.lmsgamecast.com. Buy some t-shirts. Buy some ladies t-shirts. Buy some coffee mug stickers. We got them. You want them? Put them on your body. Uh, we got uh, wish stones as well. Linuxgamecast.com. Bounce over the support button. I have one. Ven has one. Pedro has one. Jill has one. Buy us stuff off there. And if you do, you can send us little notes that we'll have to read on the internet. Yeah, pay fifteen hundred dollars for a video card for me, please. If <laughs> if you want to own me for like the next six months, that's how you do it. <laughs> Gentlemen, I happen to have one of those little notes in my uh, tiny oh. little petite hands right now. Ooh. It says, thanks for everything you guys do for the community. Do you believe any of that for a minute? No. No? Did we set fire to anyone recently? I don't. (laughs) I'm just just thinking of the bit from Black Dynamite where it's like, we need to stop people from bringing drugs into the community. But Black Dynamite, we sell drugs to the community. (laughs) Thanks for everything you do. Thank, uh, thanks for everything you guys do for the community. Exclamation point. From. Oh. PSN Joe. Ah. ah yeah, look at that. Look yeah, at that. Why? Because this is the best non blinky RAM in existence, which is going to go in the Steam Rectangle. That's Cor- right. Corsair you know Vengeance. You the Corsair Vengeance. This is the classic. LPX. It's not fancy, <laughs> but it gets the, it's the PDR yeah, it of RAM. Right. Yeah. Reasonably priced. And uh, thank you so much, Joe. That is, we, got, uh, we got some more people. Oh, go on, yeah. going to be. No, I, I always like when we get like uh, bonus parts going in because we can just throw Joe right under the bus if the Rams bat. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. This, both <laughs> dims were terrible. Uh, we got we got some more people to thank as well. Uh, Artharin, as mentioned previously in the Steam segment, uh, gave us copies of Bots Are Stupid. So thanks yeah. a lot for that. And Mirror got you Vampire Survivors again, right, Pedro? Yeah, the uh, the DLC for Vampire Survivors Legacy of the Moonspell. And um, Moonspell, just for the trivia aficionados out there, it is. Yeah, it's a Portuguese metal band. <laughs> so, yeah, I still, uh, I, I still like Moon Sorrow better. <laughs> that is the most Portuguese looking band I've ever. <laughs> I was expecting just like uh, all, all Pedros, like, oops, all Pedros. <laughs> I mean, all right. So, uh, one of them is from uh, my hometown. So there's that. <laughs> See, you're just a little bit of eyeliner away from internet stardom, Pedro. Uh, sure, yeah. one of these days. Uh, you know, you know, you know <laughs> yeah, do it, do it. Get, come in with like the fucking guy liner. I, I, I want to see the Pedro Crow, the pro. <laughs> <laughs> the pro. Oh, call. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we do appreciate call. your support. Thank you for helping us do this. It is brilliant. So are you. And uh, yeah, come say hi. We're always available to chat on IRC, Discord, um, Twitch, wherever. Come play Patreon. with us. Patreon. Yeah. Send yeah, us some messages can, on Patreon. You're getting in your 30s and your 40s and like that. You're like, I don't have time to make friends. Well, you can buy them. It's brilliant. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Thanks so much. <laughs> it's, like, it, it's like Twitch bots, but we're real people. <laughs> right? <laughs> Cheat codes. Yeah, hey, man. It is fun when people show up. Like, that's where everyone's hiding. I'm like, yeah, that's right. Come on. Let's go play some games. Cool. Ladies and gentlemen, there's a new rumor. You know, NVIDIA has released the uh, 3090, right? 4090. 4090. 4090. I know, I know, I know. Um, <laughs> listen, listen, it's the COVID time warp. It, it's still 2020 as far as The 4090, concerned. and then they released the 4080 Mark One and the 4080 Mark Two and then the 4080 Oopsie, which is still then. And um, no one's been very happy with any of the pricing. And you know what? You know your pricing's a bit fucked when AMD comes out and does a victory lap because their card's $999. It's $100, $100 less, yeah. Yeah. 200 
Okay, two hundred dollars. I don't. It's still fifteen hundred Canadian here, so I don't fucking care. This is a bit of a rumor coming from VideoCards.com. We like to throw that out there. Oh, speculation. An NVIDIA okay, RTX okay. 4060 Ti with a short stuff PCB could very well be in the works, Jordan. Yeah, and NVIDIA is very, very determined to keep that mid-range just fucking locked at 8 gigs of VRAM. You're not getting a GDDR6X, though, just GDDR6. Uh, if we scroll down, they have a table of the other preview. Um, apparently, at least the 4070 is rumored to have 12, which, I mean, the 3070 has 8. That was something that was not... I mean, no, the 4070 I, I was, is the uh, oopsie version of the 4080 that they yeah, unlaunched. I, yeah, so. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, do, do, do you think so? Or is that going to be the 4070 tie? I, I, I don't, I don't know. One of Either them. Way, yeah, but so e- either way, the the price point for this one is gonna is gonna be like eight ninety nine. That's that's got US. That's got to compete with the seventy nine hundred XT. Yeah, and pl- plus the the new power supply that you got to make sure you plug it all the way in. You guys make sure that like it clicks in there and it is sturdy before you go and turn that on. Um, may- yeah, but I don't I don't know like. I'm not, I'm not impressed. I really now I really want to see what AMD's going to announce in time for CES because like I think AMD may have won the mid range here if if this is any indication. Um, you know I would just like to gr- congratulate Nvidia uh, on the announcement of their fucking 4050 Ti because get Rex on 100 yeah. percent of that because I had to think about this and I'm in that position because y'all fucked up making the um 3060 12 gigs. You know you did. Because he absolutely did. Uh, and you can tell by what AMD did. That caused that. AMD and even Intel now. Where did they go? They didn't go with 8. They went with 12. And they went with 16. They're like, okay, we got to up our game. Because shit, NVIDIA is releasing a card with 12 gigs in the low end. We better do something. And in 2022, going into 20, ain't nobody buying an 8 gig card. Unless it's like on the ultra low end. Because you know, NVIDIA, you're going to try to get $600 for this thing. And we, that shit ain't going to happen either. Me? I happen to have one of those 12 gig 3060s and like a lot of people doing content production were like oh, a 12 gig card for 400 bucks yes that is a bit high for a 30 30 you know a 60 series but 12 gigs of ram there we go will you like that i'm happy with it and um there's no way i'm going to be spending 600 dollars on your 4050 ti aka 4060 ti that's just not going to happen and i i, I gotta say this man like if i'm going to upgrade it's gonna be like a 3080 Ti with 12 gigs, because I got or a, or, or like a 3090 or something, right? Like, right. At, I'm at, thinking at, like at another used point, market, like, right? Like, I'm yeah. good. The only thing you could possibly get me with was like AV1, but I'm not like nothing. I can't send AV1 to anything other than YouTube right now. But I think like the real swift kick in the dick is for those of us with a 30 series card right now. Ain't nothing you release. There's no incentive there, man. Like the LSS three falls into the yeah it's neat rasterization performance bitch i just got done playing the witcher 3 in uhd on a 3060 i'm good um oh but ray tracing performance performance? Ooh, i don't care about that anyway (laughs) yeah if if you're just interested in rasterization performance as it turns out that uh $200 $200 cheaper AMD card actually matches the 480 in rasterization. In fact, it's better in some games. Mm. And again, for $200 less. But yeah, no, uh, the pricing... Plus, plus that you NVIDIA, can keep your current power supply. That's, that's yes. the big one, too. <laughs> uh, the, but the pricing that NVIDIA and AMD, to some uh, degree... Uh, the Not to some degree. They're just as bad, man. Yeah, they're just, they're, they, yeah. they are. Uh, okay, they're a bit cheaper, but they're just as bad. Uh, but yeah, no, it, it that has caused the uh, average GPU performance, at least as far as the Steam survey is concerned, to visibly regress. It used to be that the 1060 was the... Um, the highest share GPU. Now it's the 1650. You know, the one that when it came out, it was panned all around and everyone said, just get uh, an AMD RX 570 because that's so much better and so much cheaper. Yeah, it, 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 it's it gone back. So unless someone releases something at around the $150 mark, which this 4060 or 40 whatever TI happens to be, which I doubt it's mm-hmm. not going to fucking happen. Uh, yeah, no, it's it's going to keep being bad. Right That's- now, since so this entire thing, Pedro's talking and uh, Intel's <laughs> doing the anteater pose in the middle of the field right now going. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the thing. 
if you, even if you look at the current, uh, I posted on Discord the uh, picture of the Acer Bifrost Intel A770. The, the that's boy frost. 400. Yeah, 420 pounds for the A770. Uh, you know, the same price that you can get a brand new um, RX 6700 XT. And that RX 6700 XT, other than the AV1 encoding, is going to trounce the Intel card uh, on uh, everything. Again, a uh, live <laughs> shot from inside the Intel GPU division. Um, yeah, <laughs> bat- battle mage, bruh. <laughs> My bat eater. Ah, uh, how do you, how do, how do you keep fucking it up so bad? <laughs> they, they don't fucking, I mean, NVIDIA's, they don't care anymore. Like we see Clearly. NVIDIA's in a weird spot because <laughs> we, the past two years, we have not been NVIDIA's customer base at all. Like no. at all. They were not concerned with like whatever fucking scrubs you just deal with this and they're having to shift gears, but they get used to that chatter, which we've covered multiple times. Just saying the same thing over and over again. And you know, as much as Jensen and uh, the shareholders would like to normalize this thousand dollar thing, there's a certain line that people are going to run into. We fucking ran into it right there. Like thousand dollars, twelve hundred bucks. I, I did that uh-huh. one time, and I'm like, no, not again. Yeah, thanks to the uh, nine seventy four hundred is now my cap. Thanks, Nvidia. <laughs> uh man. Um, yeah, that's why you should get a three hundred fifty dollar arc. <laughs> well, at least they at don't least exist. With, <laughs> at least with your Nvidia card, you can stream your video games from home. Mm. You can. Uh, at least that's the only one that they've tested so far. We're talking about the Quantify people, uh, who are uh, yeah, effectively developing a DIY hot seat multiplayer streaming solution, where you can have multiple people uh, playing the game, and you can pick which player is in control on screen. It's very very nice, very descriptive little gif that they have with control there. Uh, it looks. I, I don't hate it. I genuinely don't hate it. But I was looking at the... Um, Do you hear that quantify? I want you to put a picture of Mateus's quote on there. I don't hate it. Yeah. I mean, you can use that for a lot just, of things, just, actually. Just, just recommend Gnome as your, as your recommended DE, and then lose all that goodwill. <laughs> they, they don't recommend a... Um, desktop environment but they do have like the defined variables of like okay which gpu are you going to share okay, with I the see uh, docker container under the known issues <laughs> direct x or lower so if it's not running dx12 get wrecked uh effectively yes or uh-huh. more. small problem there. <laughs> got it a little, little bit but it, it's it's still it's still early days um yeah the 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 issue I hear see here is like all of all of like the and more sign up let's go d- game demo rent a GPU all that stuff all their documentation just takes you to a sign up page where you gotta like give them an email but like looking looking at the uh, looking at the pricing um, it's actually pretty reasonable it's like a dollar an hour which is like not bad um, you have you have the rights to like restream it onto YouTube and Twitch even with the uh, even with the free version even the, although they cap you at um, thirty bucks I don't know so. Well, I guess I guess what I'm a little unclear is: Does it require like the Quantify service for discoverability, or can I just like point my friends at my server and have them just like? The game point here browse? is URL invites for friends. That's one of the big selling mm. points. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but is, is is that is that not just through the Quantify service, or is that through your like your your actual through the browser that you're just the the server that you're running is just running inside no, that, I, I, um, I, I, I understand but if you go to their website you need you can like register and do like looking for group and stuff so I don't know uh what, what I'm you're saying what, your what own I'm, instance I guess that doesn't matter I, I don't I don't know well all I'm saying is that the documentation is a little it's unclear lucky. yes <laughs> a, li- a little unclear uh but yeah you need the Nvidia docker toolkit if you want to get this working they're trying to get it running on uh Intel and AMD GPUs, but that is a big old to do. Untested. Uh, I guess. I guess my other thing is like, so the game. I guess the other thing that's unclear is, does the game need to be running in Wine, or can it run on Windows? And you just like have, I don't know, some like Docker for Windows stuff happening because again, yeah. not 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 very clear given given what they have written down here. Yeah, I guess it, the game runs locally and the uh, Docker instance just runs the software to pick up on it. <laughs> I do have yeah. one question. Yeah. Isn't this basically Steam Remote Play? Let's make yeah. steps. 
a, a, a little bit like min- minus minus you know requiring you to buy into the steam um like in, uh, infrastructure so ideally this one you could be running your own instance without requiring any accounts or anything the sort yes. yeah <laughs> And it, it does, and uh, I, th- I think uh, the the other the other thing is like player one is also accessible via the the browser, so it's not mm-hmm. like you're you're playing the super. So you the can super both have that shit testic experience. Ex- exactly, it, the, 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 it's late. It's real time latency compensation is what it is. <laughs> if, if, if everyone is lagging the same amount, then it's more or less equal. So mm. yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, maybe we'll play some uh, Street Fighter Six on it. Maybe. <laughs> Let's get get Strider to set it up. Oh yeah, baby. All right, but maybe maybe we can try uh, Street Fighter Six in Go. So Tetra Tetra 3D. Yeah, you, they're, they're, people people are pretty up on this new Go language. They they like it. It's it's got that memory safe threading and whatnot. It doesn't have a lot of 3D support. Uh, but Solar Loon is trying to change that. We've talked about them before. They have a new release out for Tetra, which is very very basic 3D support. For uh, how for dare you call that basic? That triangle spins, my friend. Oh yeah, no. But l- listen, there was there. W- it wasn't spinning before. We just got we just got triangles. So the fact that we have movement now is a pretty pretty substantial leap. And I mean, it's it's slow going because the guy has basically said like, yeah, I'm you know I'm learning how to do 3D from scratch. There isn't really a lot of resources for doing this in Go, so it's a learning experience. Um, but you know, 40 percent performance bump on triangles isn't anything to sneeze at. Yeah, mm-hmm. as it turns out, replacing. Uh the vertices on each triangle with indices uh, and instead saving the just the vertices for the actual mesh itself that that gives you a big old performance boost i am so poorly programmed i'm looking at the gif shots and i'm like what am i doing my hands on wazd (laughs) yeah (laughs) like what i was actually looking because i saw those gifs and i'm like okay uh let's look up those games let's figure out what those games are see if i can play any of them uh nope uh, and in d- trying to look them up, I found two different Tetris clones called Tetra 3D, uh, which were made by different people and available on different platforms. And neither of them were using, you know, Tetra 3D. <laughs> so uh, you, you might want to change the name there, bud. <laughs> no, he, cool. he, he was here first. It's like, this, this, <laughs> if, if you're looking up Tetra and Go, this is what you're going to get. Yeah. You if don't you, need it. You, Listen, man, if you need tr- your triangles to go burr. And go. Let's do it. <laughs> Trubber. Trubber. Alex Trubber. Careful. Keyboard Ke- Zella. Um, everybody's favorite uh, Linux loving uh, miscreants epic. Uh, they're doing us a big uh, happy thing, right? Yeah, very, very, you know, get get those bagpipes out. We're playing some Amazing Grace, R.I.P. Unreal Tournament and others, including Catapult, Had a Full Boyfriend for Linux. Yeah, Unreal or Epic, they put out an announcement this week. They're like, hey, we are shutting down online services for a bunch of these games. Uh, the list goes a bunch of the Rock Bands, one to one through four, or not one through three, Rock Band 4 still has online. And Green the Day o- Rock Band. The OG Rocket <laughs> yes. League, Supersonic Acrobatic Rocket Power Battle Cars, Disrespect and uh, Top Dat, I don't know, um, and a bunch of the Unreal tournaments. Um, th- those are losing online services. They're being delisted from storefronts as well. And yeah, I guess. And uh, alongside that, the Linux versions of Had a Full Boyfriend are going by the wayside. So I got to resort to using wine if I really want to <laughs> date some birds. Um, and it's it's sad, right? Like uh, they're saying that the games will still function in single player. And there are some dedicated servers that exist for like the Unreal tournaments and whatnot, not for any of the Rock Band games. But those um, those dedicated servers are also like decades old. So getting them up and running, it's going to probably require a little bit of work. Also, you know, Epic, since can't you just like give these games away for free if you're not going to sell them? Aren't you supposed to be like the free game company? Hush. Give, 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 you give it away free no, shit. Give us more money. Um, uh, okay, first off, I think like a lot of you, maybe I had no idea Rock Band had an online component. I'm like, yeah, huh. they, have a, they have a leaderboard. Leaderboards, leaderboards and okay. Song of the Day. That and, made sense. Yeah. And yeah. you know what? You know, Game of the Year, UT, special place, a lot of our hearts, get off our lawns, we're old. Um, you know, those servers, I, I went looking up because our first thought, because we've done it in the after shows and before, right? All of us were like, hey, let's go. UT99. Uh, yeah, let's get some people together. Uh, Str- Strider wants me to mention Open Spy. So Open Spy is the thing that exists, you guys. Okay. Hush. Okay. Um, ha- happy met you. No, probably not. 
not perpetually. It'll last like three minutes, three and a half. Strider is um, never happy. <laughs> not at all. Uh, so I, I would look it up. I'm like, how many people are playing um, Unreal Tournament these days? And, you know, more than I thought, but about what I expected, right? So CTF, of course, Grapple in London, Eat Sleep, UT.com, 1818, slap full right now. E- evil man. Freestyle Sniper Deathmatch. Which is another thing I would have predicted because that's the, what I went out on UT as mobile sniper teams. And I'm glad to Bar- see that Bar- still. Barbie's I'm, Monster Hunt Worlds. Okay. <laughs> might want to try that out in the after shows. Um, yeah. So, you know, 25, maybe 30 people in the world are playing Unreal. And, but it has to be such a negligible cost. To keep those services up and running like this is just like why? it's just going to be the master they, server they, they, yeah they, it's, uh, it's literally they, the they thing wanna, that redirects people to they, the games they they want to centralize everything on this epic online services so they're saying like anything that we can't port over we're just gonna fucking kill support for too bad so sad give us money or or don't yeah. get your free games on epic that's the thing all the free games that they give out on the epic uh, game store are third party titles so well that's the other thing man i mean and I so, it's not, so yeah it's not like it's gonna cost them anything yeah. to give it away right <laughs> no not at all but we have unreal you know we've got unreal on steam i knew i had a copy of goty and unreal 99 on steam and i went looking up i'm like so what's going to be going on with these they pulled those off steam because Shrug emoji. You can still get them on Gog, though. I, I mean, if you already bought them, uh, you still can download them. But yeah, you can't buy them anymore. <laughs> Yar. Way to win hearts, Epic. I mean, yeah, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. I, wait I to discourage the, piracy. Yeah, yeah. I looked at the actual press release when they first put up the article, and yeah, no, I, I was looking for that that confirmation bias. Give me something. Give me something to keep hating on you because that seems you know perfectly what? reasonable. Here, 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 <laughs> let, let me give you some feel-good news for your um, Sweeney Haterade milkshake that you like to make every now and then. Yes. Epic has spent untold millions of dollars fighting Apple to get them to open up their mm-hmm. platform in court, back and forth, back and forth. The EU is just going to pass a law to force them to do it anyway. Yep. yep. So, all of that court stuff was for not. I, 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 I love no, the no, fact that it, it was great because it got uh, Epic's uh, Apple yeah. developer account nuked. Uh, it's it's my favorite great. kind of it's my favorite kind of outcome of of a court case where both sides lose and you're yes. just like yes. Well, that, yeah, that's the thing is like the entire court case is invalid because they doesn't matter anymore the eu's going to force them to do it anyway yeah. like you could have just and waited their account is still nuked so yeah yeah so, so you know pa- patience there you go it, it is there a virtue you have that milkshake baby all right drink it up coming up next we're throwing chairs at defect process we'll see if it's a defective process or and we'll need to kill nine it Boop, and we're back to the chairquisition where we take a game run it on three different linuxes running three different uh, collections of hardware underneath and then we give you a highly scientific uh, ve- very very effective rating based on lawn chairs one chair means that's very very terrible four chairs means that's great let's get into it uh, this week we're looking at defect process de- de- defect process by incoherent <laughs> software Bold I'm words. defective this week man uh, it's d- built on a custom engine using Haskell and SDL2 you can pick it up for about 8 bucks US what is it pure 2D action with the freestyle combat system uh, the dev sent us some keys and by the way this is kind of neat the engine for this game is on GitHub you can't you still need the game files to actually play it but the GitHub page does have instructions on how to uh, run your own version of it which is pretty freaking cool. Um, yeah, so let's get into it. Pedro, how did you like it? I honestly didn't hate it, but we'll get to that. Uh, over here on the Ryzen 7 5800X 3D and the uh, RX 6700 XT on Nobara 36, it launches out of the box. It holds 144 at 2560 by 1440. Something tells me if I find out how to unlock the frame rate, it could do a lot more. But uh, yeah, it was fine. Also launches out of the box on the deck and holds 60 or 40 or whatever you happen to have the refresh rate set to the controllers also work out of the box because sdl2 at work it it does uh and uh, there's definitely music and sound effects but i'd be hard pressed to point out anything about them the graphics are 
serviceable. They convey exactly what you need to progress very, very clearly. So, uh, although serviceable does seem to be the operating principle in the defect process, the focus is very much on the mechanics, the melee combat specifically. Uh, the uh, Each of the melee weapons has tons of hidden moves that you can only pull off with certain direction plus button press key combos. There's plenty of variety to keep each run interesting. The same, however, cannot be said about the guns. They feel limited in every way. Uh, it's... Um, Limited damage, very limited damage, uh, very limited uh, ammo capacity, very limited shot variety, and there's absolutely no combos. Honestly, the guns just feel like they're there. Um, the inspiration with all the enemy juggling and all that seems to come from fighting games and Devil May Cry style uh, games. I guess the guns are just there because, you know, Devil May Cry and Bayonetta had them, so might as well put them in. But they feel, at best, underutilized, and at worst, tacked on. The grenade launcher is the um, worst offender from the, the ones I've unlocked thus far. It is... Uh, <sighs> You get one shot out of the box with the just the uh, upgrades that you have, and then you have to pound two or three more enemies to get to fire another one. It is it is the single piddliest shot with the smallest radius and hitbox that I've seen in uh, video game grenade launchers. It's still not as bad as the uh, GTA 4 grenade launcher, but it, it is bad. It it's still bad. The the game, though, uh, Defect Process, I didn't hate it. And not only is it um, open source for the engine side, but the price, if you just buy it on Steam, it's not bad at all. Three chairs. See, I, I completely disagree with the grade la grenade launcher bit that Pedro was talking about, but I'll get to that in a minute. On Fedora 37, hey, I got that right. 64-bit with the R9 3900X and the GTX 1080Ti. Launches out of the box, holds 60 at 1080p, does it also in UHD. Uh, starts off in a little itty-bitty window, though. Um, PS4 controller works out of the box with correct prompts, although... I, it kept dropping my controller and it was really annoying because it kept dropping it just before I got hit by something. So like I was going to dodge, but then it's like, oh, no, button presses don't work anymore. Fortunately, hot plug does work. So if you just unplug and replug your controller in, shit will work, but it's still fucking annoying. And it's cost me a couple runs just because it's like, oh yeah, no, you totally could have dodged that. But you know, you didn't press the button, which I totally fucking did. Um... Yeah, the graphics uh, displayed things and sound pl files played their beeps and boops. The soundtrack is kind of like weird Enya stuff. It's all perfectly serviceable. Fun-wise, yeah, it's not a bad little beat-em-up. Um, controls are pretty snappy. I tried a Hadouken as a laugh, and it turns out you can actually do Hadoukens. That's pretty neat. Um, Got to be careful, though, because you do ha you do commit to uh, your attacks. It's, like Pedro said, very fighting game-esque in that like you really have to pay attention to like the wind-up startup frames and hitboxes and hurtboxes because that is what's going to cost you your run. Um, the uh, air juggles, though, they're pretty ridiculous to the point where like they make some of the uh, the fights completely trivial because you could just like set up juggles and that's it. That's that's the fight. That's it. Um, the difficulty ramps up over time by adding more waves and more dudes that kind of turned the game into a bit of a bullet hell. Um, I, like Pedro, I did think that the gunplay was a little, we little weak, except for the grenade launcher, which I thought was a great combo starter because it actually launches shit in the air and then you can juggle them. And that made the grenade launcher the best item, in my opinion, because air juggling is just OP. Um, the in-between level segments could do some work, though. Some are clearly meant to be done, like, multiple times. There's one where you, like, drop, and if you don't know the specific place to drop, then you get nothing. So you'd have to get it the second time around. And, like, some of them some of them are pretty weak sauce, and there's only, like, four of them total. I, th I, I wish that, like, they gave you a little more variety. And, like, the, the, the item store purchase set would be a little bit more consistent. But that's more of a gripe. Um, they uh, really, really, the upgrades are... Um, you spend the money that you get to upgrade your dude. The only ones really worth anything are more double jumps or the shotgun I found. Um, switching up the fighting styles is nice. I didn't get, I didn't unlock the scythe. I played around with the sword and the staff. I found I've gravitated to the sword more. It's, it's pretty good. You know what? I'll, I'll, I'll give it three chairs. I it's, it's very, very bare bones, but what it does, it does very well. 
All right, over here on Debian Bookworm on the uh, 1920X with NVIDIA 3060, wanted full screen, all that fun stuff works, man. Really, my only complaints that lack of resolution options in full screen, but I get it. I understand it's locked at 60, as Pedro pointed out. Xbox controller picked it right up. Everything's semi logically laid out. Good to see. Really mellow background music for a beat em up, but I mean, Hey, it looks retro-ish. What I mean by that, it, it looks like what I remember Mega Drive games looking like when I was a child back in the 90s. Nice design on the enemy characters, by the way. And the main boop-tagonist, eh, he's a little on the blind side, but he, he gets the job done at the end of the day. Let's talk about fun, though, because I want you to imagine, if you will, if you took Guacamelee, stripped it down, took out the colorful graphics, took out the story and that rock-solid, fast-paced fighting mechanic, what would you be left with? My least favorite part of the game, ladies and gentlemen. That's right, a um, 2D battle arena game on a budget. That's what we got here, man. But let's look at the positives and the negatives, because fortunately the areas are broken up, as both Pedro and Jordan have pointed out, where you can take a break from the two lines where you got to fight and get killed to death. Areas such as hit a ball and other areas as jump on platforms. Now, doing so gives you little nuggets of currency, and that allows you to buy more health. Yes, there, there are other upgrades to purchase, but health's always seem like the right sound investment. Now, I think maybe that was due to the staff dash shoddy loadout that I originally selected because the juggle plus shoddy for crowd control and just wrecking fucking everything I came across a little overpowered. Tried some of the other combos, other weapons, but always came back to that. Unfortunately, that did kind of suck some of the challenge out for me just a little bit. But you know what? I had a good time going through the motions. I mean, it kind of felt like work towards the end there. All in all, completely serviceable. Delivers exactly what it says on the tin. Now, I wouldn't mind, you know, faster paced combat and, you know, better paths to chain combos or some type of combo chain system. Maybe uh, just a, sprinkling a story in there as well. But hey, again, that's just me. Unfortunately, you know, modding a game, that's going to require like countless of hours fuzzing and hacking on the binaries and you never know what you end up getting. I'm just fucking with you, man. Sources available for this. So you go ahead and pop right and change what you need to. Head right over to GitHub, grab a copy of the source code and be amazed that someone had the tenacity to write a game engine in Haskell in 2022. But totally serviceable, everybody. Solid two chairs on that. Gentlemen, do we get any final thoughts about our game this evening? No, they got a they got a solid base here, but yeah, I think I think the 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 chief complaint is like more please, like yeah, more there, there, better defined more. stuff. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh it is even the game is pretty short because once you figure out like the one uh, or two melee weapons that you like, you can get to the end very, very easily, mm -hmm. reliably. So yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. More, please. More. There we go. From <laughs> All right. Well, there you there you go. That's as far as feedback goes, that's pretty good. Coming up next, I don't know what fucking scroll wheels are for. Turns <laughs> damn out it, Jordan. Again. Turns out. <laughs> the end is upon us once more. Yes. It was a uh, uh, not that long a show this time, but I'm pretty sure even in this uh, slightly, you know, less dragged out runtime, we probably did say something that ruffled your feathers the wrong way. So, to what speak. if it ruffled my Jimmys and two Steves? Um, then you're going to need an Allen, uh, not necessarily I got an Mr. Allen. Alert. No, no, but no, takes you back, <laughs> motherfucker. You already said it. I got an Allen. <laughs> <laughs> not you, necessarily you have an Alan key wrench? but you uh, yeah you, you can totally ask alan for his keys <laughs> I, I mean like that, that's asking alan a very different question man it's like sup baby you know you know does, does, where, where where does that uh, traffic cone go can can you show me <laughs> That that is the question for the safety wizard. But uh, yes, if you are a safety wizard, you can come and tell us. Uh, LinuxGameCast.com. Hit the contact button. There are some caveats at the top of the page that you should totally read. And if you don't, and you can't figure out why your message isn't coming through to us, well, that seems uh, self-inflicted. But yeah, Alan. it is a fairly easy form. LGC Weekly Poor is Alan. the topic that you should pick to send hate mail to this very show. And uh, yeah, th this week we have uh, one bit of, um, not necessarily hate mail, because it's the fine folks at Input Labs who I had sent an email to asking for a review sample of their uh, alpaca. So you're saying there's an advantage of like covering stories and people doing vanity searches and finding like, oh, what? Yep. Oh, that's <laughs> about us. 
<laughs> because uh, they found my email after we did the show. I was like, yeah, no, well, uh, we like your show. We'll totally send and you, you one. See, so, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> being strategically wrong works out sometimes. Yes, the be- the <laughs> yes. best way to find out the right answer on the internet is to be wrong. Because as it turns out, uh, they had some corrections for both me and Jordan, and they say thanks a lot for featuring our um, featuring us in our uh, in your podcast last week. A couple of comments about what was said, uh, not super important, but just FYI. Jordan said that the scroll wheel is used to adjust the gyro aiming up and down. That's not the case. I mean, do you pronounce that Jiffy or Giffy? <laughs> Jiffy. Jiffy. <laughs> but yeah that's not the case the scroll wheel is just a normal scroll wheel and does exactly the same that a, uh, that a scroll wheel on a mouse completely independent from the gyro slash mouse See, uh, emulation I read this and my heart sank because I'm like <laughs> man I, I I thought that was actually a cool idea and I clearly misunderstood I clearly misunderstood what you're talking about in in, in the article all, or in your uh, blog post I'll totally cop to that but in, in in my head I'm like man scroll wheel plus gyro all right seems strange but Skyro. We're, 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 worth <laughs> worth a shot but I guess that's not the case I guess you just gotta yeah. use it to like switch weapons and shit. And for my part, I uh, had mentioned that, you know, this mouse can hold up to five profiles and I didn't use a single one of them. Apparently, uh, you mentioned that even though your mouse had a lot of profiles, never used them, uh, which is fair in a mouse since those are mostly bloat features. Oh, ho! <laughs> shade. Uh, but in the alpaca, the profiles are a core feature since... <laughs> That's a llama. Uh, <laughs> since the controller is emulating all keyboard, it mouse, X input devices at the uh, uh, same time, it would be impossible without the profiles to make sense out of so many I/O without the profiles for the different use cases slash mappings. Also, for all tabbing and some other usual desktop quick shortcuts, sounds complex, but it is not really. And they give the link to the manual. Uh, if you have questions or issues, pick us here on Discord. Enjoy. Thanks a lot, Marcus. So thank you, Marcus, very, very much. It is, uh, I, I very much look forward to uh, playing with the controller, and there will be video, and there will be video of me playing with the controller. With his feet. So. Can you, can you <laughs> not map with my the, feet again? Can not you a map the, channel. <laughs> can you map the scroll wheel to directional look just for me? Like, look up, look down. <laughs> please, please. Uh, j- j- just, just for me. Just as a trick. Uh, I think that since it is effectively just a scroll wheel and Steam input does let you bind that to anything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, do it, do it. Do it for me, please. You, you could, <laughs> what if you just mapped it to crouch? <laughs> oh, or, or like scroll, works, scroll wheel yeah. up to jump? That, that, mm, I, don't, I don't know. Oh. That's what we're Yeah, about. looking we're at their profiles, and most of it's set to like uh, zoom in, zoom out, scroll wheel up, scroll wheel down, the usual stuff. So, yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, cool. I think this is going to do it, ladies and gentlemen, because on, on that scrolly nonsense, <laughs> we got to give the music. You can always find this. Pull it out of the station. This nice little nightmare train. 8.30, 7.30 if you're a patron. Come hop in our Discord. Listen to the Brie Brie Super Shows. And if you want to get a hold to me, I'm just at Vince Stone. On the Twitters, we have a federated timeline as well. People have discovered Mastodon is a thing recently. Mast.LennySteamcast.com where you can find me at at Vin, old man Vin, doing the things. I was trying to come up with some kind of younger scrolls reference, but <laughs> not 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 happening. Uh, uh, find, find, find me, scroll past my shit on Twitter, Mastodon, or Twitch at the Burning Fool, uh, Frojo at mass.linuxgamecast.com, and twitch.tv slash Burning Fool, respectively. Ah. And if you'd like to have a look at the place where well, the elders are not allowed to scroll, that's our Discord. Don't forget to do, uh, join us on Steve's Patreon. There. You, can, you can scroll. <laughs> no, no, scrolling up's not allowed. No, we thought you said <laughs> roll. It's a Dark Souls reference. <laughs> Elder rules. But uh, if you want Elder to scroll uh, down my uh, particular um, treasure trail, social Urethra? networks, whatever uh not urethra no oh. again not a porn channel okay uh <laughs> at I mean, for on medical. elon net for as long as that's still a thing I- i'm just gonna wait until it burns or shuts down or whatever happens <sighs> time for some credits yeah sure yeah <laughs> that, that was that was my nickname in uh in college aggressively average also, uh, Young Scrolls is a very uh, funny yeah, yeah, yeah. music <laughs> artist. Fresh beat, check him out. On, we gotta um, thank Omegas Arthurian. We gotta thank 
Our uh, executive producers, they're Barbara Ram, Scott Mishoda, Topic House, Mike G, Mike T, Drummer, Kohaku, George, Pebble, Tomaj, Unoid, and our Chicago Kicks ass tier, the elusive Super Death Stoat. <gasps> sea Monsters, man, bringing it out, Ronald, Ryder X Machina, Troy Gutierrez, Justin Frosty, Nabin, David Dark, Wing System T, and DS in Joe. With the Death Notes, Nova, Basil, Chad, Romeo, Marson, Rene, Leonardo, the Kresny, Kim, Smashly G, Chris, Stephen, Jill, Benjamin, Doom 2. What? Steve. I was just the other Steve. Uh, Dirty Dean, Back, Game of Tron, Dodger, Xantharis Gaming, Root, Turnover, Cheesy Bacon, Mr. Fox Dog, Svine, Oil of Hope, Jalou, and Alex. All right. All right. Uh, technicality, you read that. Um. <laughs> <laughs> All of Jer- our lovely Jerling's, 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 make it everything Co- possible. Johnny, uh, Menno, Mark, Replay Gaming, Sacred Egg, Strider, all those guys. Line up Stanley Gambles, Girl Mike, Daniel, 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 Strider wake up one morning and start arguing with a uh, last month earlier yeah, this week. Yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just responding to old shit. <laughs> he he did say it's like, oh, I we'll scrolled up too week. far. <laughs> Moldy oldies. <laughs> Five dudes. <laughs>